Good evening, humans, and welcome back to... Well, actually, nobody told me what the hell we call these things, but my name is Dominator, but you can all refer to me as Lord Dominator. And tonight we are going to be... <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not the first one to make that joke. But tonight we're going to be talking about our next killer, the Ray. Now, looking at this guy, he looks intimidating as f***. But the name he gave himself, not so sure. I mean, the Wraith. Sorry, buddy. Ever heard of Apex Legends? <laughs> but then again, this game came before Apex, so maybe Apex stole from him? And it doesn't help the fact that one of Wraith's abilities is called Bloodhound. Ooh. <laughs> Watch the next Apex Champion be named something like Predator or Shadowbound. But I digress. Let's get to know more about our killer. Philip Ojimo, geez, I hope I'm saying that right, but who cares, came to this country without anything than the hope for a new beginning. He was happy as he got offered a job at Auto Haven Wreckers, a small scrapyard where bribed cops turn a blind eye for the somewhat shady business that took place. Well, doesn't that kind of suck, but you gotta start from somewhere, am I right? Ojimo didn't care. He had seen criminal activity up close in his homeland, and as long as he didn't get involved, he let things be. Mm, that's what you gotta do sometimes. He just fixed cars and handled the crusher, something he did really well. Looks like someone found their calling. A car went in, and a small metallic cube came out. It was not until one gloomy day that he, just by accident, saw some blood coming from one of the uncrushed cars. As he opened the trunk, he found a young man gagged and tied hands with panic-filled eyes. Ojimo freed the man who managed to run 10 feet before Ojimo's boss stopped him and slit his throat. Holy shit! As Ojimo demanded answers, he got explained to him that he had been nothing more than a simple executioner as more or less every car had a soul in them as this was a service the scrapyard provided to certain clients. Dang, so all this time he's been crushing people to death? Ain't that f***ed up. Ojimo snapped and went ballistic. He threw his boss in the crusher and let it slowly compress. As the head stuck out, Ojimo grabbed it and pulled head and spine out of the body. <laughs> Aww, Sub-Zero would be so proud. Then he left and was never seen again. Alrighty, let's see if we can get our killer on the line and ask him a few questions. Or just one question, if I feel lazy enough. Hello? Mr. Ojimo? Can you hear me? Hello? Hi there, Mr. Ojimo. Or do you prefer Mr. Ray? Actually, can I call you Philip? No. Great is fine. Who is this anyway? Well, now that we got names situated, what do you say we get started with the question, shall we? But before we begin, I just want to say how much I really admired that Mortal Kombat fatality you performed on your boss. It's just... Holy sh**! That was just simply brutal. Ed Boon, might want to take notes. So you liked that, didn't you? Looks like someone's been reading up on my backstory. Okay, okay. Alright, first off, how did it feel working at the junkyard? Was it like a good experience for you? Back at the junkyard, I loved my job. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to be bothered or get involved with anything I was not okay with. I enjoy what I did. So yes, it was a good experience. Fascinating, fascinating. And as for my last question, have you ever abused your invisibility powers? I do not abuse my powers as though they were some children's plaything. Although, I suppose as for using it to antagonize my victims, I guess you could say I abuse it from time to time. Anyways, thanks for being here tonight, Philip. It's been fun. And anything you'd like to say to everyone watching? Not necessarily. Although, I was in the middle of chasing someone, and your phone call let them escape. Okay, you that's me. Bye! Me. And
And that's going to be all the time we have for tonight. Thank you all so much for listening. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments on the killer we should talk about next. But until then, I leave you all with a question. If you can turn invisible, what would you do? Let me know down below. Thanks for tuning in tonight, humans. My name is Dominator, and tell me, if a killer was chasing you, how would you defend yourself? Education and learning.